lot of roads lead into Russia right now. Yeah, no. What do you think about that? I think Mr. Putin, I mean no disrespect, I think Mr. Putin is a, is a thug. I think trying to reason with him, at least initially, is like trying to hand feed a shark. I think you have to, uh, I think you have to stand up Better to him. Better put some gloves on, huh? <laughs> yeah. I think he wants to restore Russia to some sort of status that only he understands. If he sees a vacuum, he will fill it. Yeah. I mean, I give you Syria. Mr. Assad is a butcher. And if, if Mr. Putin and the Ayatollah and Iran uh, knew about it, they're butchers too, and we've got to answer it. Unfortunately, and I don't know why, if I make it to heaven, I'm going to ask. There are people in this world. They're not, uh, they're, they're not confused. They're not sick. It's not that their mom or daddy didn't love them enough. They're just some bad people in this world. And you have to say no. We push back. And your friends have got to know they can trust you. We'll stand with them. And your enemies have got to respect you. It's the only way to stay safe in this world. Let me shift gears. The Mueller investigation. This week we saw uh, FBI raid the offices of the president's personal attorney. Your assessment of that situation? I do not believe that President Trump will fire Mr. Mueller. I think President Trump is too smart to fire Mr. Mueller. It's academic. I just don't think it's going to happen. I think Mr. Mueller, whether you agree or disagree with his appointment, he has been appointed. He should be allowed to finish his job. The rule of law should control. I wish he would hurry, but he knows the pace at which he ought to go. He may have to bend some FBI rules, but I want him to report to the American people. I want to say, look, this is what I found. Yeah. These, this is what everyone did or didn't do. If someone did something wrong, they need to be held accountable, and the American people will figure it out. They will figure this out. <laughs>